Let's learn how to clean a glass top stove and make it go from nasty to almost classy in today's appliance repair video. Hello and welcome everyone today to this video on cleaning a glass top stove. My name's Ben and I want to go over a few different ways to possibly consider cleaning your stove. I got this one in as a repair that they never picked up. We found out that the interface on the unit was too dirty and was causing issues. And we also noticed the top was really nasty and I've wanted to test some theories out on what gets a glass top stove the cleanest. For this stove, we're going to use this Wyman's glass top cleaner and polish. We're gonna put some on the glass top. We're gonna to take the Wyman cooktop scrubbing pads, which and then once we get done scrubbing it for a while, we're gonna let it soak, and then we're gonna take a razor knife and then take the top grease off. I know for a fact that using a scraper knife is very important no matter how you clean your glass top stove. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and start by putting a bunch on this glass top here with the Wyman's cooktop cleaner and polish. And our goal is gonna be to get rid of the rings around each of these burners i will tell you the honest truth it won't likely do anything for this middle area if you're trying to clean a glass cooktop that has some sort of discoloration in the middle this typically is caused by using bad pans inferior pans or low grade pans that have the metal tend to deposit here and i have found in my experience it's very hard to clean these out sometimes you'll get element dust from the ceramic underneath that you can take the bottom apart and get some of this cleaned up and lightened up but generally this is very hard to deal with so you want to make sure that you use good quality pans so let's go ahead and see what we can do with our Wyman's glass cooktop cleaner and polish there's no real technique to applying this cleaner but given how terrible this stove is make sure to use quite a bit but don't use the whole bottle because by the end of this video you're going to see that we need to make multiple passes on cleaning the cooktop now if your stove isn't as bad as this one a first pass like this would probably be enough to remove most typical stains on a standard glass top stove now that we got the top totally scrubbed in a general sense i'm going to put some extra just on these burner rings that are really really bad i think i can see that it's lightening up already on the general cooktop area but not where the pans go so we're going to put a little bit more here i've maybe used an eighth of a bottle on this so far so i really haven't used too much so i got extra to spare i suppose when scrubbing a glass top stove you'll need to apply quite a bit of pressure to the glass to deeply scrub these burned on areas a stove top that's this bad doesn't develop with one or two spillovers but months and maybe even years of buildup. it won't go without a fight so the pad I'm using is pretty coarse, but the glass top is pretty resistant to damage and scratches, so go ahead and give it all you've got. And now with the cooktop scrubbed about as good as I want to, I've spent maybe five minutes on it, maybe seven minutes on scrubbing each of the burners between the general scrub and the intense scrub specifically on the burners. And I can tell that we've already lightened the stove up pretty well, but I want to take this scraper and we're just going to work our way around the rings and around the top of it to remove all the rest of the crud. When you use this, you don't want, you know, definitely at a 90 degree angle, you want to angle it not even 45 degrees. I, I guess I'd say maybe a 15 to 20 degree angle. And you want to really work on these burners now that we've had the Wyman's media, the scrubbing media embedded into this. And I'm hoping we can lighten this up quite a bit with a first pass on the scraping brush or on the scraping knife. Oh my, look at that. Do you see that? Do you see that? I've tried to edit the audio, but the noise of scraping off year old noodle dust is one of the worst things ever, so you may want to wear earplugs when having to do this if your stove is as bad as this one. However, the noise was worth the payoff. So we've got our first pass done on this burner, and I quickly found out my suggestion of having 15 degree angle didn't work nearly at all once we got into some really tough debris here. I had to quickly go to almost a 75 degree angle to really push in and then pull it out. Also, the noise is just frighteningly bad. It sounds like you're scraping styrofoam or something. So this is not something for the kind of person that hates bad sounds. 
The good news is though, this burner is turning out really, really well. So I'm going to scrape this a little bit more and we're just going to keep going through this over the next few minutes. This part of the video is being sped up heavily because it's roughly 13 minutes long, but we are going to find out that it was well worth the time investment here. One major thing to note is that the scraper I used worked fantastic on removing the junk from the glass burners, but the razor blades were constantly being forced out of the holder due to the amount of pressure I put on the blades and it bent the scraper pretty terribly. This was somewhat dangerous and it would be much better to purchase a nicer scraping device than the $3 special I got from the local dollar store. The video's description is going to have all the tools I used or would suggest you to use in this video so make sure to look at them when you're done watching the video so you too can get the right things for your glass stove at home. So our first pass is complete and we used our Wyman's glass top cleaner and polish as well as our scraper and the scraper did an amazing job and the cooktop cleaner and polish did as well during the scrubbing action. I'm really happy with how this first pass has turned out but there's clearly still more left on this that we have to take care of on a second pass. However, all the really deep caked on, cooked on compound, the, the, the burnt toast or whatever is off. So with the second pass, we should be able to just take the scrub brush that we used earlier, clean it out as well as the cooktop, and then just do a final second pass, and we should get the rest of the junk off of it. We saw quite a bit come off, or at least I saw a bit come off when we were doing this. So let's go ahead and try the second pass and see how it goes. Our second pass with the Wyman's cooktop cleaner is going to take just under eight minutes to complete. So again, we are speeding it up. The cleaning supplies used in the video, I bought from a local hardware store, so it is pretty easy to find them, but we do have them again in the description. Once we get the second pass done, we're going to do a before and after Despite the fact I used the razor knife on the whole stove and scraped it, you're going to find out just how effective the second pass was. I was hoping to do more than one stove for the video using other cleaning media, but this was the worst stove that we had and didn't have any other stoves that came close, so we will be doing more videos in the future with baking soda and other media to see how it compares to an off-the-shelf glass cleaner. And here is our cooktop, at least complete as far as I want to get it today. We did two passes on this with the Wyman's glass top cleaner and polish and then used the same scrubbing pad both times. Hindsight, I probably should have used another one and let the old one dry. I could tell it kind of diluted the cooktop cleaner polish a little bit. I then decided instead of just doing a regular media pass with the scrubbing pads, I went ahead and took my uh, knife again, my scraper, and went ahead and did it again. And you could see during the video, I think that the cooktop cleaner which is a white maybe a little bit grayish color turned to brown indicating we did get some more junk off the, the stovetop. This stovetop I think was about a one or a two when we got it and we've got it to I don't know I'd say maybe a seven and a half or an eight. Leave a comment if you think that uh, how this turned out and if you're wondering what the bucket looked like off camera there it is in all of its nastiness. That is what came off of the top of the stove. I put everything in there except baking soda things from the first pass. So that's just really what came out of the second pass and cleaning the, it off with the rag on the first one. So it was just awful. And here's our stove after cleaning. I think it looks a bit better, but we are going to test more cleaning ideas in future videos. So make sure to like and subscribe and then comment about how you clean your glass top stove. Till next time, take care.